Hey guys, we got this one where they said upstairs it's getting hot. When I was up there, I saw a really dirty filter. That may be the problem, but let's see what's going on. Get my tools and we'll verify whether or not it's low on the refrigerant. system so that to me looks like it's really low in fact this little bit of dripping you see right here might be ice melt <laughs> all right let's do a leak search That thing sounded like it was tired. Let's see how old it is. 2014. Ain't but 10 years old. All right, let's um go up top. Oh, look at what this. One of these old style. These are the best. Like, that ain't gonna break on you. That's, I wish they were all like this. All right, there's our furnace over there. There's my coal way over there. Hmm. Let's get some more light. It's a little bit of water in that emergency drain pan. Another sign that it is freezing up. I don't think the previous tenant used the upstairs here. So this may not have actually run for a long time. All right, 
Let's start taking this apart. <laughs> now let's see if I have one behind that. Oh, I do. Got one behind here. All right, what do I do with my drill here? Y'all see the way this is hooked up? They had a three to four that was crimped on the three, so they just broke it to um to work. I mean, it, to me that's fine, but I'd much rather have what I'm supposed to have. I broke the crimp part off. Which tells me I know where this came from. Because they don't sell a three to four that's not crimped. I mean that right there confirms to me that I'm right. And look at there, a block of ice. We know it's low on refrigerant because the whole thing's not iced up. And it was not freezing outside. Give y'all a bird's eye view of this. I'm still going to try to do a leak search. And uh, see if we pick up anything in here. I can't use the ultrasonic because melting ice makes noise. Let's put this on high. Picking up two bars like right there. Mm -hmm. This would be an easy coil to change.
I'm getting something under here on the other side. Nothing really consistent. Let's try the other one. I'm not picking up anything. No parts per million anywhere. Oh, I got one right there. Still nothing. I really don't want to get this thing wet. But I do think we might need to look outside. That's the original coil. Yeah, let's look outside. Check with this real quick. No. All right, I looked all around that coil. I did not see any signs of oil anywhere and this is a straight cool condenser so there's not as y'all can see there ain't a whole lot down there to go wrong and I don't see any signs of oil anywhere all right so let's Go figure. I'm about to go get them a filter and charge this one up. I'm going to leave this thawing out at this rate right here. By the time I get back, most of that ice is going to be gone. All right.
got a TXV and there's probably still a little bit of ice on it. Freezing. Low self cooling, high superheat. Add a little more. If it was leaking under that ice, I don't think it was leaking a lot. Like I said, this upstairs has not been used, I think, in like five or six years. The tenant that was here did not go upstairs so this is the new tenant here let's watch that for a second if y'all can see this 325 head, 133 suction, 132, 2 degrees subcooling, 24 degrees superheat. I'm going to let that sit for like 5 minutes and we'll probably end up adding some more. This is about where I have leveled off. I got about 2 degrees subcooling at 327 PSI and about 17 degrees superheat. 137 suction suction line temperature is 64 degrees looks like I still have a little bit of ice melt but um the superheat is starting to drop Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.